Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are back at it, uh, trying to do the angle kit on the Mustang. So if you remember last time we left off, there was a couple of things I needed that I had to go like buy. One of those was uh, some bungee cords to support the, the brake calipers. I went ahead and bought that. I also bought an angle grinder uh, and a cutoff wheel because I have to cut off some stuff on the car in order to, you know, like clearance for the new parts. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's not much else but to just get to it. But before we do, I want to show you something cool that came in today. Check it out. We've got some new wheels for the Mustang. They're new in the sense that I just bought them. And, uh, well, I mean, they are new, but they're the same wheels that I currently have on the Mustang. It's just right now I only have four of them, which means I only have one set. So anytime I needed to change rear tires on the car, I had to, like, leave the track and find a tire shop to, like mount the tires for me or I had to use the services on track but regardless I was having to pay to have tires mounted every time I swapped rears so at least now I've got two sets of rear wheels you know so that I can have two sets of tires already mounted whenever I get to the track so yeah super stoked on these they're gonna look super pretty <laughs> you look at them while they're still nice but all right let's get to the car the next thing we have to do is disconnect the tie rods from the front spindles and remove the outer tie rods. Okay. All right guys, so we've got a bit of a problem. I've got this uh, like control arm here that does not want to come out. I've tried hitting it with a hammer a bunch of times. Well, you know, rubber mallet so I don't damage the metal. Um, I've tried, you know, I've got penetrant fluid on there going into, you know, where it should be stuck, but it just doesn't want to come out. So just got to think about it and see what I'm going to do about this. But I think I have an idea. Since these control arms are for the steering, I think if I put the steering wheel on and uh, give it a couple shakes, maybe it'll uh, wiggle them loose. Okay, let's see. if the steering is locked because of the ignition. Let me cut the ignition on, see if that makes a difference. See? Okay, now the steering moves. Doesn't seem to really be helping. However, Let's see if maybe that I gave it a couple jiggles. I can hit it with the hammer now. Let's see. No luck. Okay, so that didn't work, but I think I may have come up with an idea. If I can get a special tool that can fit under here and then be able to put pressure on the top of the uh, stud right here, it should pull them apart and allow it to come down. So, let me see, what time is it? Uh, 8.30. Yeah, AutoZone should still be open. Let me see if I can uh, find a special tool. Alright guys, I know I said I was going to AutoZone, but I came to O'Reilly's. I'm going to check these out, see if they're the right ones. Alright guys, I didn't want to record once the guy walked up just because I figured it would be kind of awkward, but I ended up buying both sizes just so that I don't have to come back here unless I'm bringing it back, which obviously I will be, but... Alright, back to the house. Alright guys, we're back home with the... Uh, Pitman arm puller, by the way, in case you guys are curious what this is. But, alright, let's give it a shot. Hopefully this works. Success! I didn't record it because I didn't know how long it would take or if it would work at all, and I didn't want to have a long-ass clip, but, alright, it worked. Let's see if I can get a clip of it working on the other side. Okay. Last time it kind of flew off, so I gotta be careful. Okay, hold on. Bazinga. Hell yeah. 
All right, well, with that victory, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night for tonight, because uh, it's already about to be 10 o'clock, and uh, I wanna relax a little bit before I go to bed, so. All right, we'll get back to it the next day that I work on it, which will probably be tomorrow, if not the day after. All right, guys, we are back, and we are getting right back to it. It is the next day, and the next thing on our list is disconnect the tie rods from the front spindles and remove the outer tie rods. I believe that's the same thing on the checklist that we were working on yesterday. It's just I stopped once I was able to get like the actual end of the tie rod just out of the knuckle. Now we have to break the outer end of the tie rod loose from the inner end of the tie rod to be able to take off the tie rod. Did I mention tie rod? Success. Okay, so now I should be able to do that. And then, yeah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, and with that, we can go ahead and mark off that. Now it is on to separate the control arm from the spindle. Okay, so they're wanting me to take off that big old thing right there. That thing is massive. So, I gotta get that cotter pin out and then hope that I have a wrench that big. So for any of you guys that have never seen a cotter pin before, <clears throat> the whole purpose of these things is that you have, you know, some stuff, components like this that are absolutely essential to keeping the car rolling safely and they experience a lot of vibration and a lot of movement. So naturally when that happens, these the, the nuts will wanna like slowly back themselves off. So to avoid this, you have what's called a castellated nut, otherwise known as a castle nut, and you use a, a bolt or a stud that has a hole through the center of it, and then you bring the nut down, torque it down until that hole is exposed, and then you put a cotter pin through it so that the nut can never move no matter how much vibration there is. So anytime you see a component in your car that has a cotter pin, when you reinstall it, you want to put a brand new cotter pin in there because you have to bend these cotter pins to put them in place. And if, uh, you know, once you bend them, they're not as strong. So if you go to reinstall one that was previously used and you bend it into a new position, there are weak points in the old spots where it was bent. So never reuse cotter pins and always make sure you put a cotter pin where there once was a cotter pin. Okay. You already know how it is, another day, another issue. So uh, I got those cotter pins out, as you saw, um, but I do not have a wrench big enough to fit around that nut. Uh, I think it's like an inch or uh, an inch and like a quarter or something like that. It's massive. Um, the other thing is that, you know, even if I did, uh, because I took those control arms out, this whole assembly spins now, so I have no way of putting torque on that. But uh, you know, I realized it's not very hard for me to just go ahead and put that uh, uh, control arm or whatever that was back in there, the tie rod. But yeah, I guess it's time for another Harbor Freight run. Let's do it. All right, guys, too late for Harbor Freight. They're closed, so O'Reilly's is going to have to save me again. So I bought a 1 inch, a 1 and 1 16th, and a 1 and an eighth, just in case, because I don't want to have to come back here, and then I can just come back tomorrow and return, you know, the ones that... Uh, didn't work or I could return them all probably let's see but all right back to the house all right we're back at the house and uh, it turns out one inch and one sixteenth was the right size and uh, I've already got it off on the passenger side so I'm gonna go ahead and try and get it off on the driver's side now item done. So the next thing is to remove the spindle to strut bolts and remove the front spindle from the car. Okay. 
All right, and now I officially have everything loose, so this part's gonna be super satisfying. Now I can just take apart everything that I've been fighting to loosen, but actually take it off for good without it fighting me. So I'll take that off. And then pop these bad boys out. And then take off this nut right here. And of course, that nut came off, but the, uh, you guys remember that tool that I just returned earlier today, the uh, Pitman arm puller? Well, uh, it turns out this has the same kind of joint that uh, I needed that tool for, and turns out I need it again. So I, uh, I guess we're gonna have to call it for tonight, and ultimately just this video in general. I'll, uh, I'll go tomorrow and uh, you know return those wrenches and get the Pitman arm puller and then we'll get back at it tomorrow. But, all right guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks again very much for following along. Um, it may not look like it, but I'm having fun, I promise. <laughs> so, thanks again for following along, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.